Hello and welcome to part 12 of the UBIK solution. And today we're going to follow up on the last video where I didn't manage to finish completely off with the angle uh, setting of or the rotation of the elbow according to the hand position. So we're going to finish that up today. And uh, I think the best uh, place to start with is uh, actually going to be to look at some C, C sharp code. And for those of you who are not familiar with C sharp, eh, don't worry too much because it's actually not that uh, that cryptic. And also, actually, I deviated from this uh, this part of the solution. Uh, this is the VR arm IK C sharp uh, class that we are into at the moment. You can see the line number here. Uh, and the function is called get elbow target angle. And if you're wondering how the hell did I get this, uh, refer to the, I don't have it open right now, uh, to the um, GitHub uh, link for uh, Matthias Parcher's implementation in Unity. This is where you get this. So again, it's the VR ARMK class to weigh in. Uh, so uh, here you have the first part of the formula here is uh, setting the angle from the Y. And if you are unfamiliar with Unity, you have to know that the Y is actually the corresponding to the up vector in uh, Unreal. So this is a, actually the C axis here. So what uh, he does here is to get an offset angle. And the offset angle in his case was uh, one, 135 degrees. And for some reason that didn't fit uh, with the way I did it. I think maybe I did something different. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Um, but just note that this is uh, basically what he does. He has an offset angle, and then he has a localized position in, in X uh, or in C space. So when you move your hand up and down, multiplied by a weight value. That's basically what happens, and the weight value in this case was uh, minus 60. And uh, this is the first place I'm going to deviate, um, because I'm not really going to take uh, so far this part here into consideration. The only thing I'm going to take from this is the offset angle. Um, the localized uh, local hand position normal normalized. I'm going to do exactly as he does. It's the inverse transform point of the hand position divided by the, the arm length. Um, so if we try and, and convert that into something meaningful in here, uh, we have the, the hand position here. And this needs to be in shoulder space, uh, as it does here, uh, in uh, the shoulder angle. And that means that we're going to take our shoulder. Um, actually, let's draw it out from here. Uh, shoulder transform here in shoulder space. And we're going to... Um, wait a second. Actually, I don't think this is necessary uh, in our case, because this is actually already in shoulder space. Um, this might not be necessary. Let's just leave it for now. Um, to be honest, I'm just wondering if this is necessary. Um, but the, otherwise, uh, what we do here is divide it by the arm length. So divide this by arm length. This. And then we're going to take um, and split this open. But as I said, we're not going to use the, the it says Y, but is, we're not going to use the up and down part of, from this uh, solution here. Uh, we're only going to use the offset. Uh, and the offset value we're going to call, what do I call it, the elbow base. Um, elbow base offset angle. And that base offset angle is actually going to be my 90 degrees that we just had hard coded before. So this part is going to come into play in a moment. So if we could just continue uh, past uh, the next uh, step here, or skip this here, 
and then move on oops move on to the next which says if the local hand position normalized is greater than zero then do something uh, there's a weight uh, involved here multiplied by uh, the ma max of um, this distance minus the local um, um, normalized C component. And uh, the C component in Unity is corresponding to the Y axis. Uh, no, actually that's um, the X axis. Um, and yeah, well, actually what I did, uh, to be honest, was that I didn't really see much difference. It does maybe have a, a tiny bit of a difference when you uh, watch your hand um, move back and forward. It's maybe moving down a little bit to the side, like tilting down. I can't really see what I'm doing. Might be, do a little bit like this, but it's not that much. So this part here maybe is something I may return to at a later point. I haven't really made up my mind if this is necessary. I might correct it in a different way later on. So for now, let's just continue and skip this part here. So the last part here uh, is what I actually did implement. And this is the X, AKA in uh, Uni uh, Unreal, the Y uh, part here. So as, um, as you might notice when we have the hand here and move it over here, it, it raises up towards our normal uh, or the base angle here. Uh, and it, it actually seems to happen only when we pass our shoulder, really. So that is kind of corresponding to what we have with the max um, of uh, between the, the X distance um, plus some um, distance start here. And the distance start is 0 0.1 in this occasion. Uh, we might set it a little bit different, I think. Um, so let's try and, and convert that part here. So we're going to get the, the Y component here. And we're going um, um, uh, to begin with. Oh, yeah. Let's do that part first. Um, so we just go back here. Uh, we have if, if it's left we're gonna use one otherwise minus one here and that is gonna be the same yeah so take the y here and multiply by select a oh, float multiply by select float and one and minus one and is left like this so that's uh, that's that part here of the equation and then we multiply it by the x that's what we're doing here x, except we just use the the, the y uh, because we're in unreal and then we plus a distance start um, so we plus a distance start. Uh, not what I wanted. Promote this to a variable and call this the elbow. Um, what did I call it? Uh, elbow y distance start. Um, which we set to, or the Unity um, implementation had it to 0 0.1. We might change it a little bit. Uh, so let's set it to 0 0.1 to begin with. And then we uh, have to get the max between that value and zero. So I'll type in max and zero, like so. And finally, uh, we multiply this uh, by a weight factor. Promote to a variable, elbow, y, um, weight. So 
let's just give it some random value, let's say 100. And then we want to, to add in the offset that I talked about in the beginning. So we just add in that in here. And that is going to be our angle. So uh, just to make it a little bit more pretty, uh, promote to a local variable, call it the angle. Okay, so let's compile and do a little test. Come on. There we go. Um, what happened? Hello. Um, so you can see now when I pass my hand across my chest, it's like it's it's already starting to lift up very little, uh, just a little bit. Um, I think what I want to do here is to take the um, the offset angle here. I have to no, not the offset angle, the elbow weight, and then bump that up to like let's say one hundred and thirty. And I'm gonna also going to take this value here. Uh, I'm just going to enter. So I change this to 130. And this one I will be setting to 0 0.2 instead. I have no idea why I start commenting them like this. <laughs> so now you can see it's actually starting to move up a little bit. The reason why I don't want to take this any further is um, you can see now at this point here, it's like the, apart from my hands are not really calibrated for this, it seems. Um, the, the hand rotation, we haven't added that in yet. And that is what I, in my implementation here is going to, give the most influence to the elbow rotation. But you can see some of it is already taking effect now when I move my hand across here, it's starting to raise up a little bit. So at this point, it's pretty accurate. When I rotate my hand, it's definitely not, it's completely off because we haven't implemented that yet. Um, Um, right, so that is actually what I wanted to implement in this video. Um, I promised uh, that, and this part here we didn't need, uh, so let's just scratch that. Uh, I promised I would show how I implemented the, <laughs> the right arm. I forgot to do it off video, so now you're gonna get the uh, the joy of seeing me do it anyway on, on video. So that is really all uh, that's left for this video to just finish this part here in case you didn't implement it yourself. Uh, so not much to say about this. It's just going to be drag, drag, and then connect. go and then uh, connect this one up this one and this one. Oh, and f don't forget to uncheck these so it's uh, the the right hand so hopefully it's working
for the right hand bow. That seems to be okay. So here you have a problem that we will solve later on. Uh, as you can see, the, the hand rotates inside my, my head. Um, this can be solved without, um, or can be solved in, in, in blueprints, definitely. I am not going to do it. Um, I'm actually going to resolve to, to a little bit of uh, C++, but it, don't worry about it. It's not going to be too much. And it's definitely going to be worth it, uh, I think. Um, especially when I try some at some point later on to convert this to a C++, uh, complete the C++ implementation. Uh, so this is, I think this, it's a good way of getting your feet wet with C++. That's definitely the way I got into it. I by no, I'm by no means uh, an expert. I would say I'm still fumbling the right way around. So probably not the best one to listen to if you're looking for C++ tutorials. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, so now we have the the arms connected. They are sort of working. Uh, all we need now to do is to implement the, the hand rotation part. And then we should have something that is almost ready to begin um, uh, putting a skeleton onto. Um, might spend a little bit more time um, fine-tuning some of the edge cases um, but yeah I'm gonna worry about that in the next uh, in the next video for now um, I'm gonna leave you uh, with uh, this and we're gonna continue in the next so stay tuned and thank you for watching